Hi, welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Today I've got another aircon job. This is a Mark V uh, Polo, 2016 I think it is. And it's running on the YF refrigerant. So the story was this came in uh, empty. Uh, previous been working the year before. So it's lost its gas, nothing in it at all. So I've got the uh, pressure test underway. We've been going for half an hour and we've lost 0.7 of a PSI, which is not a great deal, but nonetheless, it's going somewhere. Um, I've been all over the system with the leak trace sniffer, and I've occasionally picked up um, through the grill, up in the top corner up there, I've occasionally picked up just the odd little glitch on the, uh, on the sniffer, uh, but I can't pinpoint it due to the construction of the, uh, of the car, really. Um, most of the condenser is hidden behind the bumper on this and these aren't actually these are, these don't actually go through they're just solid so you can't get sniffer in up the top anywhere can't really reach the um, the receiver dryer cartridge either with the lid, the lid on that which is quite problematic so I think really the way to go with this is to pull the bumper really and um, then you can expose what's going on uh, with a condenser I've been inside with the uh, the sniffer on the evaporator because these are prone for evaporator leaks as well unfortunately um, can't find anything in there at all so I'm going to pull the bumper and then uh, we can get better access so I was going to take that off and then um, we'll get back on it so our bumpers off uh, took the crash bar out of the way as well a few bits and pieces and if we go up in this corner here we've got a uh, we've got a pretty significant leak up there and I went over it as well one other area here somewhere yeah another one there and if you look there's not really any real staining either so nothing standing out but just so difficult to get the sniffer up here this one possibly I might have got from underneath but yeah pretty porous condenser I think all the bottom the usual area that's more exposed seems to be okay but up here for some reason what is what a six-year-old polo it's a bit uh, it's not great really Anyway, I'll get this changed out and carry on. As you can see, these things are a bit of a pain to strip down. The way they're built, they put the, um, the core support unit, right, wrap it right round the condenser and your two radiators. So you've got to do a bit of dismantling, really. It's a bit of a pain, but uh, get in there, get the new one in get it under pressure and uh, start putting it back together so as you can see the new condensers in and I've done a pressure test already while I was doing a bit of reassembly and it's holding pressure fine so I've just started the vacuum process and it's just working its way down so I'll run the vacuum for probably a good 45 minutes or so keep an eye on it and then uh, Get the bumper cover back on, get the headlights in, and uh, get some gas in it. So all back up and running. Uh, bumper's all back on, just got to pop the grill on. Uh, I've got pressures here, we've got 34 on the low, 90 on the high. The return line coming back to the compressor is 3.6 degrees, which is a good temperature. And if we look inside, that will relate to, there you go, 3.4 degrees coming out of the dash. So it's not a particularly hot day here in the UK, probably uh, 70 Fahrenheit if we're lucky. But uh, yeah, all running nicely. So yep, just finalise it, a few bits back together and we're all done. So. 
we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye now